Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm reviewing the Trevex Summit. And actually it's the Trevex Summit with the armor plate. There's actually two products in this little wallet right here and I'll go over all of that in this video, but I wanna give you the ins and outs of what I like about this and what I don't like about it, if there is anything I don't like about it. And uh, yeah, let's talk about it. Stick around. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, however, I want you to know that I make videos around jujitsu and other man stuff. If that sounds like something you wanna be part of, make sure you click that subscribe button below. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much. I really appreciate your support. Either way, give me one of those thumbs up right there so I can know that you like this video. What's up guys? This is it right here. This is the Trevax Summit. Now this is not the Armored Summit, okay? This is just a summit. There are two pieces to this wallet if you wanna get the Armored Summit, and I'm gonna go over both of those. I'm also gonna go over price, the functionality of this and if I would recommend it or not. And right here you can see you have like a 90 degree angle in this corner. That's going to allow you to shore up your cards when you put those in and make sure the cards are nice and square. So that's a that's a nice little feature. You also have an attachment point here at the top and you have a money clip here on the back which we'll get into. This yellow strap here comes in various colors on their website. I did not pick this color. This came free with another wallet that I purchased. I'm going to go over it in another video and may do a giveaway on one of these when I reach a thousand subscribers. But this one came in yellow. I actually like yellow. I think it looks nice. Um, I don't think I would have purchased yellow if I were picking it myself. I probably would have picked more like a black color or a darker color. I think they have like military green. They also have a camouflage black, maybe gray, but uh, they have various colors on their website. Now this yellow strap here that's on this particular Trevax wallet is a one inch mil spec nylon and it feels very durable. It, you know, it's not going to break. What I did here was you can see that they, they've done some sort of melting job here to hold it into the um, metal frame and then they wrap it around. Now I tugged on this end right here with my with pliers just to see if I could pull that out and uh, it's not like I hung from it or anything but I did give it some nice tugs and it didn't come loose and what this strap is for is really to tighten your cards in so let's take a look at that really quick. Now the website says that you can hold roughly eight cards in the wallet so I'm gonna I have seven here I'm gonna put those in and uh, you can see it goes in quite nicely it uses that corner that little 90 degree angle there to um, keep it nice and uh, tight and then I can also pull the strap here to tighten it up even more. Um, it has this little window here for your driver's license. That's my driver's license. So sort of like an ID window is what they call it. And that's pretty much it to this wallet. But again, this is not what you would call the Armored Summit. Um, it's just the Summit. You need a piece to make it an Armored Summit. Let's look at that. So here is the piece that makes it the Armored Summit. It's just a standard piece of metal here flat on one side with no identified identifiable markings. On the other side, it has this little pattern. Um, I don't know why they put that there, but it's like this little knit pattern, if you can see that. It does have the Trayvax logo here and Made in USA. This is functional though, because that little part there is a bottle opener, kind of cool. But it just slides on just like that. And now you have the armored Summit. Why do they call it the Armored Summit? Because this is supposed to be RFID protected all the way around. I have done some research from people that have actually tested this with some kind of testers, and it does work as long as you keep the strips from the cards in line with this metal frame. So very minimalist wallet. I really like it a lot. If I were going to pick some cards out, let's say I wanted to choose a card. You might think it would be really tough, but all you do is you use this thumb window here and you can push up and you can see the cards down here at the bottom. So you just push up to the card you want, or you could flip it over and pick the card you want. When you find the card you actually want, you just pull it out, stuff the other ones back in. When you're ready to put the card back, you can either put it at the, you know, in the end, or you can find where the spot was. Put the card in there, slide it down. It's, it's rather easy, actually. So that's the summit, the armored summit. Now, let's talk about putting money in here. They actually included a money clip right here that you could slip your money into. You can see where the strap comes up here. That little section right... There's a little window there, if you could tell. It might be hard to see on camera, but fundamentally, it's raised up a little bit, this buckle. And then you just slide your money right underneath there, just like that. I'm doing this mostly with one hand, but yeah, it's pretty easy. But it does hold everything nice and sturdy inside. That is the Trevax Summit wallet would I recommend it yes you can pick it up for $34.99 on the Trayvax website for both the armored plate and the actual summit wallet so you get the entire 
Armored Summit for $34.99. Again, you can pick different color straps if you want. Again, I did go out and buy another wallet. That was this wallet. And I will be doing a full review on this wallet as well coming up in the next couple of weeks. I really I purchased this one originally and uh, this one's a bit more expensive, not too expensive, but a little more expensive, but they gave me this one for free. So make sure you come back, click that like button if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and click that little bell notification so you can be notified when I release the video on this wallet. And uh, when I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm going to be giving one of these away. One thing to note about this wallet is that when you order it, they do build it as soon as you order, order it. So they, they ask you to allow five days for them to build it and three days for delivery unless you expedite the shipping. So it does take about that long to get it in the mail. Don't expect it any faster. They are literally building this thing by hand. Thanks guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.